Looking at uh, live video from Air Fox, and these are the waves crashing in along the bike path right at the curb on uh, Lakeshore Drive. And we've seen numerous people walking and uh, driving along the bike path here this morning, literally be uh, swept from their bikes and swept from their feet. Uh, in fact, the Office of Emergency Management and the Park Service have, uh, Park uh, District have been uh, monitoring our feet here this morning, and they're currently uh, looking at uh, taking some corrective action here this morning, or at least uh, maybe some precautionary action. A couple things going on with the lake today. Uh, this is a potentially dangerous situation because we do have a storm warning that is up for Lake Michigan, and that's because we're seeing 12 to 16 foot uh, high waves uh, across the lake today. And meanwhile, in the southern end of the lake, 14 to 18 foot swells across southern Indiana, uh, across the southern end of the lake in Indiana, I should say. Uh, we also have a gal warning up for the lake. And the uh, rip current uh, risk is very high. So if you are sucked into the water, this is not a day you actually want to spend any time in the water because those rips uh, can actually pull you straight back out into the lake. Very dangerous situation. We see that numerous times. The guy just turned around. He was out there. He was running one way. Yeah. He, yeah he, there was a wave that hit. He turned around. You know what? I'd like Smart to guy. I would like to proclaim him as wise. Yeah. 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 He just turned around. You see stuff what? like that. I'm not going to even mess with it. I'm going to turn around. Well, yeah. We're going to continue to have the waves here today. We're going to continue to have the winds as well. In fact, uh, this hour we're seeing a wind gust of 45 miles per hour at Gary. So even though both of our airports are uh, seeing wind gusts in the 20 mile per hour. Oh, that, oh, no. That, no, no. That, oh, no. That is not good. That guy. So he was up into the water. Oh, yeah. I know. Look, okay, at he is right he at the edge him. there. He's getting his... Ay, ay, ay. There's his... Oh. He's right at the edge. You know, and, and we're obviously at the point now... You know, you, we're at the point now. This this really needs to be shut down. Yeah, yeah. I mean, at this point, I mean, we, we've seen several people knocked off their feet. That guy, I mean, right. his, his bike was in there practically. Be, because if this doesn't get shut down, if someone gets swept out over that uh, over that wall into the swimming lanes there, I mean, we're now talking about a water rescue. Yeah, you're not kidding. And Mark, I know that the water temperature could be somewhat of an issue, but you're also dealing with waves that are potentially smashing people against the uh, the shoreline there, the concrete. Um, and that could be a very dangerous situation. Well, absolutely. You're, and and uh, Anna, you're looking at the waves coming in, smashing against the concrete there. Right there on the right-hand side of your screen, the swells are going up and down the little wall that normally separates where you walk from the lake. If you just take a look at that, you can see those swells kind of going up three, four feet uh, up and down the wall right along the lake there. Not even talking about the bike path. So, again, that makes the water rescues very dangerous. Well, and, Mark, you, you know, as you said earlier, the Park District was watching, our, was watching Fox, you know, Good Day Chicago, and saw this video and now is putting in a call to OEMC. So, right now, they're just in the initial stages, and I think they need to really fast forward this several yeah. steps because the Park District was going to make a call to OEMC, then discuss with OEMC what needs to be done. Well, yeah. I think at this point, there's no question. It needs to be shut down for safety purposes. Well, especially when you see what we just saw there. What you're witnessing here, uh, you know, and this is not just a, uh, a normal recreational day at the beach. I mean, we are talking about no. the lake being quite dangerous today because of the high rip uh, current uh, risk, because of the gale warnings, because of the storm warning that is posted uh, for the lake. So the, the lake is a potentially very dangerous spot. So if you're swept into the lake, that's going to create some huge well, problems. And this, and this is how important our viewers are, too, because we actually got this tip from a viewer who had been watching this from his condo window and was kept watching this happen, people nearly being swept into Lake Michigan. Yeah. So he called us and said, please send somebody, send the helicopter. We need to let people know about this. Well, you it's know, I, I have a friend who actually just texted me a second ago telling me that he was out there. He's like, you know, I'm not sure if I, if I was in, in the video or not, but he texted me saying he's out there, so hopefully we'll get him on the phone. But but he's saying, I mean, it's well, awful out there. Well, what it seems to be doing is catching everyone by surprise. They're running along, and it seems like it's dry and it's fine, and then all of a sudden the waves sweep up at that one particular spot there at the Oak Street Curve yeah. along Lakeshore Drive. And just nearly sweeping, we've seen bikes, people, dogs nearly swept into the water. Right. Probably just a matter of time before they do shut this down, don't yeah. you think? Well, you would hope. And you we, would were, hope. we were talking with one of our colleagues here um, in our web department, Tall, and I believe, Tall, it was your boyfriend or, or somebody that they know that actually got swept into this water and their computer actually was completely destroyed. Wow. All right, Sandra, we're going to be right back with more. We'll stick with the story, but have more coming up after a break.